Hey, we've got another, I'd say crazy one, but that would, that would imply that it's outside of the ordinary. And I think this is kind of the ordinary. And the, the thing I'm trying to point out with these videos is female nature. It's the, the one thing I never hear anybody really talking about. Anyway, hi, welcome back to Far From Eden. Um, please hit like on your way in. It, helps the algorithm. I'm not even sure what an algorithm is, except that if you hit like, I think it means YouTube will show it to more people. And so it's just like how it, how the computer is thinking. So you guys understand better than I do. Um, so if you could hit like, that would be really helpful. It doesn't cost anything. You know, it's just, it's just easy. And then more people can learn about female nature because I don't, listen, I don't hear MRAs, men's rights advocates talking about female nature. I, I don't hear the, you know, equalists and egalitarian and all the rest of it. They just act like it's not a thing. I think, well, they act like it's not innate. It's almost like something maybe that's developed or socially, like a social construct or of some type. And yeah, it's gotten worse because it's allowed to, but I would argue that it is innate and I'm a woman. I, 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 I fight these things, you know, they're, it's primal. Just like there are certain things, the way a man is wired, they just are. We have to stop pretending like everything is, you know, a le something learned or everything is something our society made us be there are certain things that make us who we are like two arms and two legs and 10 fingers and 10 toes and you know female nature is just one of those things and i mean i feel like when they're drunk it's a bit of a truth serum and we get to see the examples right there and uh i don't know i feel like it informs then when we go and we watch a woman who's pretending to have it all together. And then when we see, you know, Jordan Peterson or other intellectuals talking about, well, what is going on? Why don't the men want to get married? Well, do, 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 do. And it's like, hello, you don't have to be, it, 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 it's not that complicated. At the end of the day, it's not that complicated. It's just that the truth hurts and you know, even I think even there are some men who don't obviously men don't want it to be true. The idea that female nature is innate. There are OK, there are things about female nature that are wonderful. I think women innately are wonderful. But. Things let's take it away from women for a minute. Things, people, places, whatever. Something that's wonderful over here might not be wonderful when you put it over here. It's like that, it's like that saying is one of my favorite. Like if you judge a fish on how well it can climb a tree, you know, I don't remember the punchline or whatever to that, but yeah, you can't, you can't because he's not supposed to climb a tree. He's supposed to be swimming and being a fish. And when he's being a fish, probably pretty cool but he's not a bird and he's not an alligator and he's not um you know a koala bear and we don't act strange or upset when you know subject a behaves like subject a and it's appropriate in subject a's environment could it be that women are in the wrong environment. And this is not that we're victims. Oh no, we charged right in there apparently. Apparently we fought for the right to be in this environment. And it's like, you know, kids fight for the right to eat candy for dinner too. Doesn't mean it's a good idea. Um, and doesn't mean we should let them. But there are roles for things and people. There just is. There is a natural order of the world and women are not in it. They're not in their spot. 
and they haven't been for it depends on you know like now it's so many women but you know they've been getting away we've been getting out of our role where we are where we excel and we're wonderful for society and we're great human beings and we contribute and all the rest of it and we're not having to drink a box of wine at night and we're not on antidepressants and we're not childless and you know what i mean like things were better when we were in our role so what i want to study is some of us when we're not in our role sort of to the extreme sometimes you have to take something to the extreme to really go oh yeah that's a problem if you just see a woman having a bad day at work even eh, it's not as clear but you see these um, videos that are everywhere it's a problem so let's check it out let's see oh yeah a little update on the microphone situation according to youtube analytics i am 15 dollars away from that hundred dollar mark where they send you your money so and enough ads are playing that it's it's you know it's growing in like eight dollars a day or something like that so the new microphone that'll that'll be when we get it and so i just want to respond to that because everybody's like your audio this your audio that i know it's i get it i i know it might not seem like that microphone is a lot of money for a lot of people but and i have to budget everything so we're just going to be you know careful <laughs> you should see this setup i got going on over here like um the the computer may or may not be sitting on top of a tissue box that that might be part of our our setup here but that's okay i don't it's fine it's just kind of how i roll like we're just going to do the best we can with what we have and as we go we get better so with the new microphone, you should be able to hear me really well and you shouldn't be able to hear any like other sounds that you shouldn't be hearing. And then the heater, you shouldn't hear. And I guess the train, you know, good old Tomas, the train, when he goes by, probably won't hear him either, which is kind of sad. I like the train. I mean, I'll still hear, still hear him, but you guys won't. I will probably still announce him. <laughs> uh, oh yeah. And my friend in the comments who keeps um, telling me B12, and there might be a couple people now telling me take B12 for my MS. Totally understand, you are right. I, I think that MS is more than what they tell us. And since you wrote that in the comments, I have been, I've added B12 to my B12 complex. So I'm taking, you know, I'm taking a lot more than I was and I'm thinking about increasing that. So there's that. And yes, I also take vitamin D. So I really appreciate the care and concern and just wanted to say at the beginning of a video so that you knew that I read it, what you said and I am working on it. And, and you know, we'll see, because this has been a couple, it's been a rough, it's been a rough month or so, and I'm not quite sure why, but that's not what this video is about at all. That's it's not supposed to be about that. So anyway, let's check out this this then all right we switch there we are okay and we need to do this hello what are you doing okay with your uh, beer? Is that not okay? Uh, no, not really. Not on the street. Ma'am? <laughs> you forgot your bike. Ma'am? Did I already say I did not watch this? Ma'am. I just saw the very, very beginning. Like the little preview they do. You want a ticket for that? No, here, take it. Okay. <laughs> What an attitude. What an attitude. Hey, come here. You guys aren't drinking in the street.
Hey, get over here. This is brought to us by Police Watch, I believe. Um, credit to them. I really appreciate all these channels bringing us this. You know, we need to see how these women are behaving. You know, obviously the men out there have a bit of a problem too. And I will all day die on the hill that it's because they were raised by single mothers and or um, like dominant mothers in the household. No father being the disciplinarian, being the, the actual leader. So I think this is what we get. But my job is pointing these guys out. So you can imagine again every single time, right? Imagine it's a guy and he's walking away like that. Very different situation. You just don't walk away from the police like that. Well, you do if you're a woman. Now you can give us your name. You want to go to jail? No. You want to go to no. Don't hit me. Don't touch me. You have no no right to touch me. I just touched you. You have no right to touch me. Now you're going to jail. Do you hear me? Now you're going to jail. Going to jail for what? Wow. For what? Oh, now you need me. Oh my God. Oh my God. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. No. Stop right now. Whoa. Stop resisting. I'm sorry. If that was a dude, I think there would be a taser or worse. And do you guys notice this trend? You are not allowed to touch me. I don't know what it is. Like some, some of these women took the whole consent deal and just ran with it and think that like they're in charge of everything because, of, because you can't do this unless it basically told them like, you have to have permission from them for everything. Like you are not the queen of the world. Okay. So this is a huge reason. Here's my guilty pleasure. This is a big reason I like to watch these videos because when they act like that and then they get taken down, I get satisfaction out of that. Even though I'm not a big fan of the state police officers as individuals, I'm sure they can be wonderful people, but as an arm of the state, they are not my friends. Ever. I like to see women. Basically, I like to see these type of women find a consequence. It, it's fun for me. And I don't really want to read too deeply into it. Like, what does that say about me? Well, let's not go there. Wow. Wow. Oh, quiet now. Look at that. Look at that. Calm down. Stand you up, okay? Don't kick. Don't punch. All right. All right, this is totally inappropriate what I'm about to say, but since I'm a woman, I can probably get away with saying it. All right, if you've watched my channel for very long at all, you know that I am an equestrian, which means I'm a horsey girl. Well, Back in the day before the MS was really too terribly bad all the time, I trained horses. And even when it was bad, I trained horses from the ground and instructed people on what to do. My whole point of saying that is, did you notice how she was like a wild woman and she was like fight, trying to fight? You saw her like ball her fist up like she was going to do something, which is hilarious. Anyway, so you saw her kind of like, you know, square off with the police and try to say, you don't, you don't have consent. You can't touch me. What if she didn't say consent, but I know that's where she got it. And then we see a complete flip. And that's what I'm getting to is she gets handcuffed. She realizes at some point in that whole kerfuffle that there's not a dang thing she can do. She also realized in that kerfuffle oh, they're really not going to hurt me, hurt me. They're going to constrain me. And what happened? She got very quiet, very behaviorally seeming very compliant. And the reason I brought the whole thing up about the horses is that there's a, there's a little thing with the horses where you, you don't want to break their spirit. Like that's, not what you're trying to do because that would be like abusing them until they just don't care anymore that's too much however when you are working with a young horse 
you have to get them to the point where they realize that fighting isn't the best option and they submit to you. Then they're calm. And it also happens when they realize you're actually not there to hurt them, but you're going to constrain them a bit. And then actually the constraint, so to speak, the stall, the, the fence, starts to be a comfort. You watch a horse get loose who is used to being, you know, in, in a field where they can see the fences or a paddock or a stall and they're loose. They go, oh my God, I'm loose. And they panic. So they begin to be comforted by, you know, their constraints. And I saw this woman just now. I saw that happen. And I don't want to really talk too much about the way women used to be kept in order, but if you know, you know, and that's what I'm going to say, because we're on YouTube. All right, carrying on. Oh, we're back. That's two. To what? Stop. Assault on a PO? You think you're a police officer? F you. You know who I am? What's your f***ing Zachy? Zachy peg? Oh, does she know him? By the way, with horses, they'll do that. And then when you ask them for something else, meh, you'll get a little woohoo again. So that's all that is. It doesn't wreck the analogy at all. Um, yeah, they'll test you. Everyone says it's not the first time you get on. It's like the third time you get on with horses. Because first, second time, they're kind of like, what's going on? Third time, they're like, oh, I don't think so. Anyway. Uh, that's it. <laughs> I don't think you guys came here to hear about that. But so she's called him Zach like she knows. That's funny. But she didn't say anything before. Here comes all the, here we go. Let's try all the ways to manipulate. We need that bingo card. You're being a fucking pig, Zach. I know who Zach is. You know who Zach is, you fucking liar. And now you need me and you kick me. Good, you fucking deserved it. What? Neighbor called. This is my restaurant. I just was wondering if you knew who she was. No, no, no. Because she was up on your deck. No, we've never around. seen her before. Okay. You know, we used to have have them sleeping under the tables and stuff. And then I did the partner program, and you guys have always been good keeping an eye on the place. And what do you, you know, mean? We're have just running out of places to be. Who? Were you here yesterday? No, no. We just apparently. we just happened to be going by. We were on a call Wednesday. around the corner. Yeah. And she pulled around the corner on her bike okay. drinking a beer. Right. Which was a simple solution. You druggies? Yeah, but she, she could have been in and out. She made it difficult. We would just let her go. Are you okay? So you fall. No, I'm good. I'm good. Thank Aww. you. Oh, Sarah Soda. Does she have pigtails? What is she wearing? Oh, no. Okay. Do you have anything on you, ma'am? I, I will have a female officer search you. But before I ha have you sit back here, is there anything on you? Why won't you search me? I told you a female officer will search you, but I am not going to search you right now. Good. Okay. Well. Do you want to sit there or do you want to wait? Well, she wanted him to search her, didn't she? Oh, she wants to have something to accuse him of. He was like, mm -mm, you got to get up pretty early in the morning. Fool me. I'm not touching you. We've seen that a couple of times. We've seen that one chick yesterday that I released yet the video I released yesterday where she's like, you get my hair on my face. It's like, I'm not touching you. That is how you guys have to be around females. They're dangerous and they will try to initiate a situation where they can later say, hey, you know, because they're looking for leverage. That's another thing you learn about horses. Horses are much bigger and stronger than people, obviously. So you don't have that over them, but what you do have is leverage. There's some physical leverage techniques, but leverage as in mentally and, and that kind of a thing. And that is what they look for. Set up a situation where you might gain some leverage. Why don't you search me? No way, lady. Can't wait to see how she treats the female. It's always fun. Have always, a seat in the car. Always angrier at the female. Oh, oh no. Oh no. 
was a baby. All right, what's your name? <laughs> I don't have a name that matters to you. Oh my God, you don't go to, okay, here's a tip in case anybody here didn't know, but you don't go from sob crying <laughs> to speaking normally. I have sobbed cried before. We girls call that the ugly cry. And it's it's generally it comes out it is it is you don't you can't control that when that starts happening. For when it happens for real, you can't control it. It is from the most pain and sorrow and despair when I've cried that way. It's like when my mom died, you know, when serious things have happened, I've cried that way. And I will tell you, the amount of like fluids that come from your face when you're crying like that, and the way you're breathing way up high in your chest, you don't just have a conversation two seconds. I mean, she was just like speaking. No, no, you just, that's not how it works. Hey, no, I don't, you're lying to me! Why do you think you don't matter? Why do I matter? Just take me to the hospital. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to say this very often, but I detect some real sadness there but it isn't because she feels bad i don't even think it's about any of this interaction that's what you ha also have to realize when you're dealing with a female is that when you're dealing with them and they and they do seem i'm not saying that's real crying there's real there's something there but she's manifesting it into this cry she's like push like the way like a method actor would try to do like think of something that actually upsets you and then pretend it's whatever the scene is so it's sort of like that. But the thing you have to understand with women is that when you do detect some real feelings, do not assume that those real feelings that are there are anything to do with what's going on. It could be about something that happened at work or feeling overwhelmed about this over there, but they've got it here and they're upset about it and they could cry about it. So let's think about that while I'm in this interaction. And I know, I know men have said to me, oh my God, that's so much work to think about. It's not, we don't think about it. We just do it, honestly. It's, yeah, female nature. So something's going on and I have a feeling it's stuff that's led up to her being in a situation where she's walking down the street, drinking a beer, rolling her eyes at cops and I mean, Clearly, if you're at that point, things in your life haven't gone, you know, perfectly. And, and who knows if it's all been her bad choices or if, you know, her family when she was growing up, maybe they made some bad choices. But at the end of the day, we all have what we have to work with and we have to be responsible. But that women don't really get that as much because we like our reasons and excuses. All right, so let's see what she's about to try next. Excuses or hmm, shame. She tried to shame him. <laughs> Just take me to the hospital and take these off. They're hurting me. <laughs> You're not supposed to cuff me in the car what? because you're not supposed to take them off. Okay. She's like a kid. What's your first name? It's Megan. Okay. She's like a kid. Oh, Megan, you have not been real cooperative. I didn't do anything. Okay. I was drinking a beer. Okay, well. Why can't I drink a beer? Do you know how old I am? I'm 38 years old. Why can't I have a beer if I want to? All right. 
It wouldn't matter how many beers I had. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't sound like, like a, like a nine-year-old having a tantrum. What did we talk about yesterday's video? Wonder when the trauma happened. I feel like they're, they're frozen there. Also, never think that your kids are just going to get older and mature. They will get older. They will not mature and get coping skills, learn to be good people. That does not happen because the child got older and like figured it out or they got older and that's how their DNA was. So that's how they, no, you teach them. You have to train them. They don't just learn. They don't just become polite. No, they, they don't. If you, if you never teach your children to sit properly, you know, with their feet flat on the floor and say please and thank you, and you never require that at home, do not be surprised when they turn into rude adults. Why would you have a rude child and expect a nice adult? Why would you expect that? But all I see, especially with millennial parents, is, you know, let them choose their way because they have this, this idea that people are inherently good. No, we are not. We are not inherently good. It's, it, it's just not true. So train up your children or you will have a 38 year old having a tantrum like she's nine. Do you guys have any idea what you've done to me already? I have no freedom. Is that what you're saying? I'm not free. What? Everyone else can have fun except for me. That isn't fair. I can't even eat. You guys won't help me at all. What? Ah! Stop. Ah! Stop. Ah! Stop. All right. This is the portion of the video. Sorry, we're stopping every two seconds. Um. This is the portion of the video where if you're watching it and you're in the comment section on another channel, you'll hear things about mental health this and mental health that. You know, I am sure you can probably diagnose her with this, that, and the other, but I'm of the old school where I don't care. I don't. I don't. Do I want you to suffer? No. But I want you to be stronger and whatever your affliction is, I get it if you're schizophrenia and you're seeing people and hearing people and you're not in this reality. She's in this reality. Those mental health excuses have got to stop. Because generally what I see are personality disorders caused by our sick and broken society. Wow. I just want to go home. Let me go! Right. There's an officer here that's going to stretch you, okay? So I need to step on out of the car, right? Okay? Step on out here. Where's all the tears in the Hello. sun? Don't put those on! Don't put what on? The gloves! Oh, I need to. Mop! She's very nice. Yeah, very good. She's very She's putting gloves on and they smell bad. I don't want to touch my body. What are you doing to my body? You're touching my body. Do you have anything on you? The faster I can do this, the faster we can go. Don't touch me. I just want to go. Let's pay attention to how unaffected the female officer is with all of this performance. Oh, I don't have anything. I just had a beer. Why can't I drink a beer? Why can't I drink a beer? Why can't I drink a beer? What are you talking about? There is no city. Don't touch me. <laughs> I'm not doing this with you. <laughs> Screaming doesn't do anything. This You're acting like a child. Did she I'm not acting it? like a child. Yes, no, I'm not. Woo! I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. I told her. <laughs> no, this is empty, I think. She's not a person at all. I know you do what I do. Don't touch me like that. You're uh, making me piss. Stop, stop it. Ah, Megan, stop. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. You stop it. 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 Stop. Ah! This 
break is brought to you by the organism does what has made the organism successful. When you have a child, do not let them get away with something because they had a tantrum. I don't care if you're in public and you're embarrassed. I don't care. They cannot get their way because they had a tantrum. Do not try to appease them with a cookie. Do not try to do anything. Just be like, Psh, you can cry all you want. That's how you have to treat it. I love how this female cop is like, you're acting like a child and she's unaffected. That's making this woman act out more. And, and I can tell like when this, when this human woman was young and she had a tantrum, she figured out all she has to do is make the tantrum big enough or make it last long enough and wear out whoever the authority figure was authority. And then she's going to get her way. And that's what she's trying here. They totally give away like how they operate and how they think. <coughs> Holy crap. Sorry. Wow. Another charge. Do you understand? So right now you're going to up the container, but you're going to go for a battery. Call me a lawyer. Call me a lawyer right now. Call me a lawyer. Get in the car. Why am I being arrested? Get in the car. Why am I being arrested? Get in the car. Why am I being arrested? I want a lawyer. You don't mean my rights. I don't have to. You don't mean my rights. I don't have to. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. Get in the car. Yeah, you do. Get in the car. Yeah, you do. You don't mean my rights. You know, I want a lawyer right now. I want a lawyer. I'm so glad it's a female. I want a lawyer. 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 I want a Megan, stop resisting and oh, sit down in the I car. I want a lawyer. Nobody cares. To sit in the car? I want a lawyer to get out of this. I, there's okay. no well, reason to be arrested. you can get one later. Sit in the car, okay? I want a lawyer now. No. Sit in the car. I want a lawyer now. No. Sit in Call the car. Call me a lawyer. Sit. Make sure your children know what the word no means. And I'll say especially the little girls because they're the ones that don't really. It doesn't get especially there, you know. Make sure that no means no to your little girl. And there's no way to like, you know, win you over or change your mind. Because that will teach her to be manipulative. Just teach her that when I say no, I mean no. And that's it. And it's the end of story. And if you keep asking, you will be in trouble. And you'll never get to do said thing that you keep begging me for. Because if you don't, this is what it creates. This Call me a lawyer. Call me a Yep. <laughs> oh, this woman. Our time for. You have one? Yeah. No one's impressed. Why don't you sit in the car? I want a lawyer. Okay, when you get to the jail, you can call yeah, one. We didn't say you could have one. No one's saying you can't I want have a lawyer. lawyer. Right now, you well, have no right to arrest me. Yes, we do. No, you don't. Okay. No, you don't. All right. I'm pull her in. No, you, you get in the car. Yep. Get in the car. Ow! Can you grab her? Do you need an arm? Let's go. I'll get it on my pig. Get in the car. I'm getting it. Don't f***ing touch me anymore, you f***ing pig. Little pig. Kill it. <laughs> she didn't know what to do when he opened it. She didn't have a plan past that. Oh my god, she's like a little tiny top. Ew. Ew. Oh. Too many donuts. Yes. Hog tie. Well, it's not a hog tie, but. We can't, they're not allowed to hog tie anymore. Okay. They assaulted me and harassed me. Okay. And had a bigger day. What are you talking about? I was walking down the street doing absolutely nothing and I get harassed all the time. Because you were drinking a beer? 
So what? Alright, it's legal to drink in the city of Sarasota. It's illegal to drink? Uh huh. And when an officer gives you a lawful command, you have to obey it. I didn't know it was illegal to drink. Yeah. No, I didn't. How long since have you been in Sarasota? Been, since when has it been illegal? Um, I don't know. 23 years? Or Oops. That's what happens when you're under you want plastic. Ticket? But that's okay. Because. See, that uh, might have right now. Get it back. Um, get to the jail, you can call yeah, one. We didn't say you could have one. No one's saying you can call like, one. I'm speechless. I, I can't. I was so speechless that my finger spazzed out and we lost our spot. Oh, yeah. That was the gut shot. Remember that? Uh, oh, yeah. When I got excited about hog time. And then she, oh, yeah. But I didn't know it was illegal. Oh, well, carry on, ma'am. You know, I, I'm sorry we stopped you. If you don't know it's illegal, then you can't be punished. That is so, again, a little child. But I didn't know. Like that, I'm sorry. You know now, and you'll definitely remember after your punishment. You cannot, you just can't be so laissez faire with your children. They turn out like this. All right, let's see where we are. Close enough. Okay. Here she's talking to her. Assaulted me and harassed me. Right. She didn't know that it was illegal to drink in the city of Sarasota. Which. Actually, I'm against that. I, I don't so think that they should right, tell us what we can drink, what we can have. I think we should be free people. It's not hurting anyone. I didn't know it was illegal. Yeah. No, I didn't. How long have you been in Sarasota? So she shouldn't be arguing with her about when it became illegal or when you got there. She should be like, if you, it doesn't matter if you knew or not. You can have an alcoholic beverage in the public. Out here in the I knew that when I was a kid. Uh, drinking your home or drinking a, I remember movies uh, where they had like a like a brown paper bag so over like a bottle. And I remember asking my mom why. Okay. Is that from today? Yeah. Okay. All right. Where are the cuts at? Probably all of them. Arms. My hands have been cut a little bit. Okay, well, you're under arrest, so that's just a normal procedure. They don't read your rights. Okay, well, they don't have to read your rights. No, they don't. Because they're not questioning you. So they still need to read me my rights? No, they don't. Since when? People. I'm not going to get into legalities and things, but they don't have to read your rights unless they're going to question you. I'm only asking you if you were injured or anything. Too much due to law this and order. People have arrest. seen too much law and order. So I'm not, not interrogating under. you. Okay. All right. Well, we'll document it. All right. But you're going to go to jail. Okay. No. Take me to the hospital. No. I'm going to the hospital. Okay. That's not uh, go to the hospital. Oh, she now there's, she there's says she has numerous schizophrenia. people who have mental health issues that we don't take to the hospital. Oh, no. You're taking me to the hospital. Okay. Well, we're going to roll up the window. And then when you get to the jail, you can talk okay, to the nurse. So okay. Great. okay. All right. Have great. great day. You too. Thanks. Well. Okay. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> do I need to do anything? Oh, I love how that woman handled it. Who was that? Kyle. Oh. Okay. Do you have a cut in that bag already? Is that a scam? Can you call the lawyer now? You got a jail. What? You got a jail. You call the lawyer now? Why? That's not how it goes. What are you talking about? Yeah, you're supposed to read me my rights and you didn't. I'll ask you any questions. And then, and then, too much law and order. You're supposed to read a person that writes before you arrest them. You had no right to arrest me for drinking a beer. Yeah, it would not. I didn't fight with anybody. You guys chased after me. I was walking away. I didn't do anything. Looks like you're going to need a look. The entitlement. <laughs> wow. Yes, police watch. The entitlement of just, I wasn't doing anything. I was walking away. You guys were harassing me. You have no right to touch me. 
just the entitlement. I'm sure if she would, if anybody else was breaking the law, she'd be all for it, but not her. Nope, not her. Nope. That the in, how indignant they get when consequences are even mentioned. If, if a man fought with the officers like that, it just would be a totally different story. It's, it's insane how these women behave, but they just are just like children. They, they have not matured past that. Women need fathers too, to tell us no. So we understand the authority. We need that. I know. Yeah. I, Hey, we need dads. Turns out, no, mom, you can't be both as much as you'd like to, even if you're a widow. You can't. You need both. You need the the dad to be like, these are the rules, and these this this is the like final like line. You need that structure. Women do. Little girls do, so that when they grow up, they act like they're civilized, and they don't scream like a three year old when they don't get their way. Because I think that's basically what we saw. We saw a woman wanting to do what she wanted to do. She was told, no, that's against the rules. And she had a complete tantrum. And I feel like, I mean, everybody sees these videos and they see the same behavior. And you don't have to see the videos to see it. You can watch the women in your own life. And like, how come nobody else is like, oh, they act like three-year-olds. Nobody holds them accountable. And this is this is the result. So thanks for hanging with me and watching that one. Woo! <laughs> We've had a couple of doozies the last couple of days. We're not gonna watch these every day, obviously, but when I come across one that's just too perfect. And I only saw the very beginning, but I thought, oh, I think I know where this is going. Boy, it it went there and it went further. So have a good rest of your day and please take care of yourselves and know that you are valued in this world because you are. See you on the next one.